What's up YouTube world? In this video, we're going to talk about RPA certifications and whether or not you need it and whether or not they are worth it. In my opinion, yes, they are worth it. And whether or not you need it, it depends on your situation. In my experience, when I started back in RPA and back in 2015, I was working for this company and I joined the RPA project. Um, I, I wasn't experienced in RPA. I didn't have any knowledge or any prior experience with anything dealing with RPA. So I wasn't certified, but I jumped on some projects and I dove into them. And then I, I learned UiPath, both UiPath and Blue Prism. And I eventually get, got certified in UiPath. Um, I, I eventually left that company, went to my current company, and now I'm certified in Blue Prism. And I have the advanced uh, certification for UiPath. Now, I want to point out that UiPath does provide training. Well, both Blue Prism and UiPath provides training, um, but I believe the UiPath training is a little bit more um, more easy to follow, more understanding, and more helpful. Blue Prism training, if you go through their training packet that they have, the um, I can't I can't think of the name name of it, but it will help you. But you, you do have to study uh, the UI path is more in depth and you do have these videos. Um, and of course, I have videos that would definitely help you out. But um, the UI path, they 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 have their certifications on their um, on their UI path academy. And I just want to point out that those are really not the um, authentic certification. When I was at, at my previous company, I took those sort of certifications, the level one, level two, and level three, and I thought that they were authentic. Um, and when I was at the company that I'm with now, uh, this company was giving away awards for people who were, you know, certified in RPA. And I gave them my Blue Prism and my UiPath, but they only accepted the Blue Prism because they reached out to UiPath and UiPath told them that um, the level one, level two and level three are only like diplomas is not the uh, authentic uh, certification. So I just want to warn you that. If you do take those uh, trainings online at UiPath Academy, they are not the authentic certifications. However, UiPath is um, giving away the free authentic certification um, on their um, on another link, and I will provide that in the description below. But in, until December 31st, you can take the certification for free. Now, after December 31st, I'm not sure what they're going to do, but I believe that the fee at one point in time was $850. Um, so I, I would take advantage of it now. The Blue Prism certification is only $100, so you can always take that. But in my experience and in my opinion, I would say the best thing to do is to get your experience, your hands-on experience with RPA, get one of the tools and learn one of the tools and like master it and then go get your certification. Because if you just take your certification now without really having a hands-on experience, you will really only really have the theory or the theoretical um, ideas of UiPath or Blue Prism, but you won't really know how to do it hands on until you get your hands dirty and then once you do get some experience maybe six months then you can come back and take that certification and it will all make make sense you're like oh, okay this is why this was working because you know this is per the best practice um and i believe blue blue prism they even make you wait six months before you can actually get certified you have to have six months of experience before you can get the cert certification um, and really quick I just want to show you the difference between the UiPath cert certifications because it is again a little, little confusing at any rate either of the certifications will suffice but I just want you to be aware that the ones that's on the Academy are not the authentic certification and the one that's on the Academy looks like this it has an orange background and it says diploma of completion uh, of UiPath advanced training, whereas the actual authentic certification looks like this. It has the blue background and it says RPA developer cer certificate. Um, and this is the actual certification that they're giving away for free until December 31st. So I highly, highly recommend you to take advantage of that. Um, and then the blue prism certification looks like this. 
And yes, I'm gonna be honest. I'm I'm uh, taking this time to kind of you know toot my own horn, and say that I'm uh, certified in multiple tools, just because uh, I, some someone kind of questioned my my skills before um, uh, for one of my train my, my trainers. It was like, or is is how do we know he's um, He's certified. I, I, you know, I, I don't go around bragging about me being being certified, but I did want to let that individual know that I am certified, and they can fact check. So, um, but yes. Yeah, so again, my recommendation is to get that hands-on experience, then go get um, a certificate because once you do have this certificate, it does help you stand out um, when you're doing your your interviews or your resumes to these recruiters. You can put that in your resume and you can send it along with your resume and it will help you get, you know, um, sought out faster, I believe, than it would someone who just says they have, you know, dot net experience and, and C sharp experience and whatnot. If you have these certifications, it will help you out tremendously. Um and I'm not sure if you if you've already started doing this, but if you do have any experience or any certification, start, you know, just, just start putting on your resume that you have experience and that you've taken this course and you've done this and, you know, you built these bots or whatever and try to start get these um, these RPA jobs, because right now. RPA is in high demand. They are looking for anyone who's uh, skilled at RPA. At my company, we interview people all the all the time, and you will be surprised some of the people that come in with like little to no experience at all with RPA, and some of them get hired. You know, so take your chance if you believe you're confident enough in RPA. If you take in my course, you should be definitely confident in RPA. But um, put your resume out there and try, and you will see. You'll start getting flooded with um, with calls from re, uh, from from the recruiters asking, um, you know, about your availability for the, these jobs. And if you have any questions or if you want to give me a comment or anything, please leave a comment below or email me at my email below. Okay. Thanks for watching. Look forward to see you in the next time.